the root causes of you know forced displacement is kind of very similar to the root causes of climate change and I think oftentimes it's the most vulnerable it's the most marginalized it's the most oppressed people that don't have access to um, don't have they have a voice but they don't have access to institutions and people who are the decision makers that can turn what they ask for into reality so you know um, for example if you take like the recent fire in Grenfell you know yeah. you had a situation where these residents who are largely you know people of color people living in poverty and you know they had a voice they were voicing their you know they had they'd formed community organizations they'd formed groups that warned the authorities of the issues you know the lack of sprinklers etc but it wasn't the problem wasn't that they didn't have a voice the problem was that the institutions to hear that voice and turn it into necessary action um, didn't exist so the problem was actually in the power structure it wasn't with the people and i think for me, that is the definition, that, that is what drives me in my work. It's about making sure that in, the structures and the infrastructure is there to listen to the people that are at you know, the marginalised parts of society.